Apple released a new Series 1 Apple Watch. Basically the first generation of the Apple Watch with a better processor. But without wasting more time, let's see if this new Series 1 Apple Watch actually is a good smartwatch. With the Apple Watch Series 1, you don't get the most premium boxing experience out there because it's the cheapest Apple Watch, so it's expected. That doesn't mean that it isn't a nice unboxing experience. The unboxing is still clean and easy and definitely gives you a good first experience with the product. Get the plastic wrapping off and pull the tap on the side of the box. The box will just slide out and you will find a little package with accessories for the Apple Watch. Then beneath that, you will find the Apple Watch itself. Opening the accessories package and the first thing that you will see are the instructions to put the band on and detach the band from the Apple Watch. Then you will find the smaller strap for people with smaller wrists and the last thing you will find is the charging cable for the Apple Watch. Note that the Apple Watch Series 1 doesn't come with the adapter. Now the setup process is very straightforward. Hold the button under the digital crown and the Apple Watch will start up. I'm not going to lie though. The first boot takes a long time, but when it's finally booted, it will ask you for your language and region. Then it will ask you to pair the watch with your phone. It does this through a little image that you scan with your iPhone. Then the setup continues on your iPhone. This involves logging in your iCloud account and accepting terms and conditions. It will then start to sync with your phone, things like loading apps to the watch, etc. Now I think that the Apple Watch looks pretty nice, but it's not the prettiest smartwatch out there in my opinion. But it gets the job done. I would have preferred a round watch, but the square design with the rounded corners still give the watch a premium look. Now considering that this is the cheapest Apple Watch, the materials still feel really premium. From the nice glass on the front and back of the watch to the nice aluminum housing, it still feels premium. Now taking a look around the Apple Watch. On the front, you will find a beautiful 1.65 inch touchscreen display covered by INX glass. Moving over to the side, and you will find the speaker and microphone. On the bottom, you will find a heart rate sensor and docking spot for the charging cable. On the other side of the watch, you will find a digital crown and a normal button. What about the features of the Apple Watch? Now I'm not going to give you instructions on how to use the watch. But I will be reviewing the features like reading and replying to text messages, which are the most important features for me. I'm also going to take a look at third party apps and my opinion about the OS itself. Now we've got a couple of options to reply to a text message. Now the first option that the Apple Watch will give you is a list of standard answers that you can use to quickly reply to someone. The second option is using your voice, which works great. For example, Hello, what's up? Why did you text me? The third option is sending an emoji. The watch will give you a bunch to choose from. The fourth option is called Scribble. This allows you to write your own sentences for occasions where you can't talk, for example. You basically write your message letter by letter and I have to tell you that it works great. Now don't expect a lot from the third party apps that the Apple Watch supports. There are many supported Apple Watch apps out there, but most companion apps for the Apple Watch are really not that useful. It's cool to show it to your friends and be like, look at my new watch, look what it can do. But other than that, they're useless. Instagram, for example, only shows a couple of pictures and although the app boots quickly, it's really not that useful to me. But the third party apps do run great on the Apple Watch and I found no performance issues while using them. Now when I first got the Apple Watch, it took me a long time to get used to watchOS. I really didn't like it at first, because it felt like it was hard to use and it was really messy. But after I played around with it for a while, I got used to it. And now 2 weeks later, the OS feels really smooth and is really easy to use. There is almost no lag and OS and watch are very responsive. Now you might be thinking, well, it's a great smartwatch, but what about the battery life? Well, let me tell you. 
Although the battery life is nothing compared to my Pebble watch, which could last for more than 5 days, it's not too bad. At the end of the day, my Apple watch usually has 23% left, which is totally okay. And if I don't use it a lot, I can end the day with 60% left, which is awesome. But I do recommend you to charge the Apple watch every day, and although it might seem annoying at first, you get used to it pretty quickly. The Apple Watch also uses wireless charging, so just attach a little charging puck to the back of the Apple Watch and you're good. Now, the Apple Watch is a great smartwatch, especially if it's your first smartwatch. The upgraded processor prevents it from lagging and although it's missing some features from the Series 2 Apple Watch, it's still a great smartwatch and I really recommend it, especially at this price point. Now, if this review helped you out, please leave a like, and if you want to see more, please subscribe. If you got any questions, leave them down below, and I will see you in my next review.